Yo, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Jonathan Belcher. Doing this video, I'm gonna let you know in this video the six signs, six signs that you're destined for greatness. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly if or not you're destined for greatness. So stay tuned till the end of the video. But before we start with the topic at hand, we're gonna do our daily affirmations. I am rich, I am financially free, I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. I am wealthy, I am healthy, I am loved. And let's get right into it. Cause out here it's a little chilly. It's not too bad out here, to be honest with you. It's not too bad out here, but it is a little chilly, right? It's not too cold. I could probably do like, probably like an hour worth of video out here and I'll be totally fine. But after that, I'll start getting cold. But this video is not gonna be too long, right? Um, this is something that I was probably should have been recorded a long time ago. It's been something that's been on my chest for a while and I've been dropping videos every single day. So let me know in the comments area if you've been appreciating these videos, if you've been getting value from these videos that I've been dropping daily. Let me know if you want me to continue to drop videos on a daily basis or if you would like me to drop it three times a week or once a week, whatever the case may be, right? Uh, this guy's over here working out. It seems like he's on the phone or something. But anyway, the six signs you're destined for greatness. The number one sign that you're destined for greatness is you're dealing with some type of pressure in life. There's some type of challenge that you're going through. You're facing opposition. There are things going on trying to keep you away from your goals. At least it feels like that. That's the number one sign that you're destined for greatness. When you feel some type of pressure to do something. And sometimes it feels like the world is against you, but it's not that it's against you, it's actually working for you. The universe is doing, putting things, making things happen in your favor. So the number one thing is understanding you're gonna experience some type of pressure because pressure makes diamonds. Pressure makes diamonds. So that's the number one sign. Don't ever be discouraged just because you're dealing with pressure, just because you're dealing with some type of challenge. Things may seem a little hard, things may seem a little rough, you know you're trying to get the results you want, you're trying to make the money you want, but that pressure is okay. That's the reason to keep going. So the number one sign you, you're destined for greatness is you experience some type of pressure on your journey. The second sign that you're destined for greatness, and I'm telling you this is not only, I'm not just saying this based off the books I've read. This is also based off my personal experience. But in every great story, with every single person who's super successful today, every person who really made something of themselves, every person who really turned something to nothing, when you really think about it, didn't they go through some immense amount of pressure? They've been through a lot in life, you know, been through the struggle. They've had the hard times, the times where they didn't have no money at all, trying to scrap up some change together to pay bills <laughs> or eat. So realize that when people become great, the reason why people are great is usually because they went through some type of pressure and some type of struggle in life. The second sign, the second sign you're destined for greatness is that you're obsessed with doing better. You're obsessed with achieving more. You don't even know what it is. It's just something naturally inside of you innate where it's like you just want to keep getting better. You just want to keep going. You just want to stay consistent no matter what you're doing. You could be, you know, having some fun with your friends, but you're thinking about your business for a second. You're like, hold on, let me think about my business. Let me just think about my craft. How can I get better here? You're always looking for ways to get better. You're like obsessed with the idea of just doing more, putting more work in. You're obsessed with finding new ways to go about connecting with people. That's how you know, that's the second sign because people who become successful, usually they're, they're just thinking about their vision. They're thinking about their goals as much as possible. They're thinking of ways to innovate, thinking of ways to create, they're thinking of ways to invest. So if this is happening, if you're, in, if you're experiencing this in your life, I'm telling you right now, odds are you're destined for greatness. Odds are you're destined for greatness if those things, if you have those feelings inside where it's like every day you're going through life and it's like, I wanna make more money, I wanna help more people, I wanna achieve more, I wanna invest in more people. You know, and, and you just, Use your imagination every single day. If you're one of those people and you be, be just dreaming sometimes, you just be thinking of the future and how things are about to be. If you're one of those people, odds are greatness is coming. Greatness is coming fast, so be prepared for it. So the third sign, right? The third sign that you're destined for greatness. 
Sometimes you may just feel alone. You may feel alone sometimes. And when I say alone, I mean in a sense of sometimes it may feel like people just don't understand you. They just don't understand your vision. They may not understand your dream. They may not understand your calling. They may not understand your purpose. But I'm here to let you know that you're, it's okay that they may not understand. It's okay that they may not understand because it's not, the purpose wasn't given to them by God, it was given to you. And not everybody's chosen, right? Not everybody has the same purpose in life. Not everybody has the same mission in life. But I believe in no matter what it is, if somebody's on a positive journey and a positive cause, I'll support that. You know, I'm gonna support that 100% no matter what it is that somebody does. If they're doing something positive, I'm gonna support that. Speaking of support, I appreciate you. If you drop a comment below, let me know if you're feeling what I'm talking about in this video. If you like what I'm talking about in this video, drop a comment below. I may not have the best lighting right now because of the angle that I chose to put up the uh, tripod, right? It's like, this is the only background I felt like was nice and was somewhat appealing, but for some reason, but in this angle, you know, I don't have the best, the sun is like over here, like beaming right over here. Literally the sun is right here. And I'm, so that's why you see the shadow over here. But I could probably edit the video and then get that out of it. So by the time you're seeing it on YouTube, it might be a little better. But I apologize if the lighting isn't so great. Right? So that's the third sign. You just feel alone sometimes. Sometimes you just feel like nobody understands. But you'll be surprised how many people out there actually do get it. How many people out there actually can be uplifted and empowered by you just being you. You'll be surprised if you just get out there and if you just get a little confidence and stop holding back. Stop listening to people who just think small. Stop listening to people who just wanna, all they wanna do is just the most simplest things in life and think they're doing big things. Because when you have a vision, when you have a vision, it's gonna, make you do so much greater things than you can ever dream of because what's in your imagination is way more vast than what's in reality. What you can imagine is, 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 is infinite. You can always create something. You can always think of something. You could always get an idea. But those things come from the divine, right? The idea comes from something you can't even explain from somewhere in the universe you just get a thought and that idea can literally lead to your million dollars to your first million dollars your first big breakthrough so third sign like i said right what's the fourth sign now the fourth sign so you're gonna you may feel alone and it's okay you might lose some friends who don't get it they may not understand but as you're on a certain path your path may be a path less traveled but that doesn't make it a path that's not rewarding a lot of times the path less traveled is more rewarding than anything else. If you've ever read the book, Think and Grow Rich, you know this. Think and Grow Rich is literally a book where Napoleon Hill goes through a series of experience from different people who went through so many hard uh, situations in life, trials and tribulations, and they all became extremely successful. But they went through pressure. You know, they were obsessed. They even had to deal with opposition enemies they had to go through a lot of hard times to see the success that was always there waiting for them so your solitude is really a reason is, is a time for you to grow if you having some silent time in your life maybe there's a reason why maybe there's a reason why the universe is making you sit down for a little bit just to relax and chill so you could get things into perspective and, pr and assess the situation going on in your life, what you're calling, what your purpose and what you're supposed to do. So that solitude, that alone time that you may experience is not always a bad thing if you utilize it right. Some people use that alone time to, and there's nothing wrong to fi with feeling, right? There's nothing wrong with, with, with feeling and, and going through your healing process in life. Every, it's a spiritual journey. It's a spiritual journey. So there's nothing wrong with going through a healing process in life, but when you're alone, that's not a time to just be there balled up all day, crying all day, right? You got some people, they, they balled up. Oh, man, I'll never get a job. Nobody <laughs> never gonna hire me. You know, I'm never gonna be, never gonna be successful, you know? They, they have these thoughts in their mind, but it's like, bruh. When you don't see a way, if you don't, if you don't see a way, guess what, it's time to make a way. 
Sometimes it's time to make a way. Sometimes that, that, that situation you in is to bring out the entrepreneur in you, is to bring out the greatness in you. It's to show that you're destined for greatness, but you ain't gonna know until your back is against the wall. A lot of people, they're not gonna know they're great until they're going through some hard situation. So they can't understand where you're going in life. They can't understand where you're taking things because they haven't been through what you've been through. So you can sit there all you want trying to explain to them what you try, why you on the mission you on, why you got the vision you got, why they can't understand your dream, why they wanna support what you got going on. You can, you can sit there doing that until you blow in the face. Or you could just say, you know what? I got a mission. I'm gonna focus on this mission. I'm gonna stay consistent. I'm never gonna give up. I apologize if the wind is blowing. Apologize if the wind is blowing. And you could better yourself and be proven to yourself that you're great. You will prove to yourself that you're great. It will become to the point where you prove to yourself that you're great. And once you get to that point, Everybody else gonna see it because they're gonna see the energy. They're gonna see the smile on your face. They're gonna see the confidence when you walk, the confidence when you talk. They're gonna, ex everything about your energy and your being is gonna show that you're following your purpose because the purpose, when you follow it and you're doing something where, you know, it's really passion based, there's a different type of light that shines out of you. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if I'm on the fourth or the fifth sign, but we're gonna keep going, right? We're gonna keep going. I was talking about your alone time. So the fifth sign, the fifth, the fifth sign that you're destined for greatness is you starting to realize how powerful it is to pay attention to the universe. You're becoming more conscious. Like every day you feel like you're, you're becoming much more smarter. Like you're becoming much more intelligent than the average person. Like you feel that on the inside. That's the fifth sign you're destined for greatness because that means that your, your, third, eye is peaking, your third eye is peaking, right? Your pineal gland is opening up and you're starting to see things on a spiritual level, not just from a surface level. You're starting to see things from a spiritual level. You're starting to understand who you are. You're starting to understand how to network with people, you're starting to understand people, you're starting to understand just life on a whole different level. And you're like, damn, why am I, why I just feel like I got super same powers or something? It, it's there, I can't explain it, but I feel like, super, like these superpowers is inside. And some people watching this video, y'all probably like, yo, what superpowers is God John talking about? He crazy, man. I'm not saying superpowers, like, but literally your consciousness and your mind is so power, powerful it becomes like as if it's superpowers as you're using your mind to manifest the things that you want and bringing it into your reality that's what i mean when i say superpowers and you're gonna feel that spiritual awakening happening because that's what happened to me i remember one time i was down in florida for a while and i was just kept seeing the same number showing up in the in the morning time and the night time and I kept seeing the same number, like, in different random places. And I'm like, yo, why I keep seeing the same numbers? I'm not even trying to see the same number, but I keep seeing the same number over and over again. Then I started to realize that that's a spiritual thing. Like, that's a spiritual... It's like the universe is trying to give you a message when you see what's called repeating numbers. And it's not even like... You'll know because you're not even going to be trying to see it. It's not even you trying to see it. It just pops up. Like, you just turn, you look at the phone, that's, that time or that number pops up or... You turn, you look at the stove, and, and you see that number right there. And then I started to do research, and I realized that it's a spiritual thing. It's literally the universe showing you things through symbolism and messaging and patterns, what's going on. But if you aren't aware enough to pay attention, you start missing the signs. See, the universe is, is going to keep throwing you the signs of what you need to do, what the purpose is. The universe is going to keep th throwing you those signs, but it's a matter of if you're going to listen to it or not it's a matter of if you're going to listen to it or not so you're going to notice you're going to just start getting more wise you're going to just get start getting smarter like you're going to start getting more disciplined you're going to start getting more consistent you're going to start making better decisions you're going to start you know just just getting around a better group of people who believe in you a group of people who really want to do great things and work with you and a group of people who really want to encourage you and uplift you and let you know that you're here to do great things you know what i'm saying so all of that is going to start getting to coming together and you're going to start like yo and then you're going to start to seek more and more of that information and that knowledge the bible even tells you the bible even tells you that knowledge wisdom is more precious than diamonds and pearls doesn't the bible say that 
So when people ask me, you're John, you know, oh, wh oh, how is selling information and knowledge, how is that a product? The Bible said wisdom is, is more valuable than diamonds and, and pearls. <laughs> so why is it that you can't sell a product? If I, When I write a book, I'm going to put it up for sale. I'm going to write a book about my life story, my experiences. So, of course, that's valuable. That's valuable because a change in a perspective, it can mean a change in your life. A very simple change in perspective can mean a change in your life. When you buy somebody's book, you buy somebody's piece of work, you're buying their experiences, you're buying their knowledge, you're buying their, their philosophies, you're buying their ideas. It doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to adopt them or use them, but at least you get to hear it. At least you get to see it. You get exposed to that information that could change your life. So you're going to get wiser. You're going to start feeling like the universe is talking to you. That's the fifth sign you're going to realize like, yo, I'm here. Like there's something different. Like I'm here for a reason. There's something unique about me. I can't explain it. You're going to literally feel like that. And you're going to wake up every morning just getting more and more knowledge and more and more ideas. And you're not going to know where these ideas and this energy is coming from. And that's when you're really starting to wake up and you're really starting to understand it. The sixth sign. The sixth sign that you're destined for greatness. Right? This is the last sign. And I'm kind of just going off the whim today. I'm not really, I didn't really write this out as an outline. This is really off the top of my head uh, based off experiences that I see with other people and myself. You know, so the sixth sign that you're destined for greatness is more people are going to, in a sense of you being alone, you're still going to attract a certain type of special group of people. I'm gonna explain what I mean. Like, although you may be alone as far as like your family, maybe the friends that you normally hang around, they may not be around, but the more you take action on your, your, your purpose and your journey, the more you're gonna start to see that you have the power of attracting a whole different type of people who relate to you, who can understand you. Because it's a, it's a, as much as a small world, it's easy, it's easy to get connected, right? It's easy to get interconnected because we have social media. We have more platforms today to have a bigger voice. So although you may feel alone, like in a sense of the people you normally hang around and grew up with, there's gonna be a whole different network of people and friendships that's gonna be waiting for you to uh, take advantage of and they, you know, you work with them, they work with you literally a community that's out there and when you speak about branding you speak about business and entrepreneurship that's literally about you understanding people and creating a healthy community of of unified individuals on a certain mission that's literally what it becomes and then you start to realize wow you start to realize you had power that you didn't even know you had all along but you was listening around, you was listening to all of these people sitting around who don't got no dream, they don't got no vision, they're not headed nowhere. They wanna do the same thing over and over and over again every single day. They don't wanna allow any type of risk, they don't take no type of risk to change their life. They, they afraid to just, just, just go and, and make a decision. Because you've been listening to those people, you couldn't, you couldn't realize your greatness. You couldn't realize that you was destined for greatness the whole time. You'll be surprised how many people out there are listening to people less than them. When I say less than them, I don't mean anybody's better than anybody. I mean in the sense of having the intelligence, the knowledge, the wisdom to want to do something greater and want to change the world. You, you, you don't understand how many people are around people who don't want to have any impact on the world and they're wondering why they're not living out to, to their greatest potential. But that's not you. That's not the situation you're going to be in. And that's not the situation you're in. Because you're watching this video right now. And you feel that you're destined for greatness. So understand that and expect for new people to come your way. Is what I'm trying to say. Expect new clients. Expect new partnerships. Expect a new sphere of influence. Expect a new group of people that you can serve and, and help. Expect to see faces and, and go to places you've never seen before. Because those are all... Those signs of you being great. Those are sign that you're, signs that you're destined for greatness. Make sure to comment on this video. Give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Make sure to hit the bell notification 
so that you can be notified whenever I make videos like this. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you. Uh, those were the six signs that you're destined for greatness. I'm going to do a video later on uh, tomorrow. Let me know in the comments if you want me to continue to drop videos every day because that's what I've been doing lately and I've kind of have already have a plan to do uh, like the next 90 days straight videos every single day. But let me know if I should keep going or if I should space it out two to three days a week. I'll probably just end up doing 90 days straight no matter what it is, right? To be honest with you because I've just been feeling the urge to share this knowledge and drop these gems on you lately. There's a lot of things that I want to get off my chest and and hopefully they, this information can help you out. You know, so share this video with five friends or family. I would appreciate that. Any links that you need, if you need to get connect with, connected with me, if you need to get started in business, put yourself in a position to earn passive income, all the links and everything is in the description below. Like I said, this is your boy Jonathan Belcher, right? Tuning out. I'm going to see you later on. Peace.